Like nature's clockwork, each day is signaled with chores and Christianity at Manos de Compasión, Hands of Compassion, a Guatemalan orphanage in partnership with Saving Susan Ministry. Everybody's helping each other. Um, my wife and I and the other house parents as the mom and dads have their responsibilities and all the children have their, their responsibilities to help the family and to keep the house and to keep everything going well. Saving Susan's got the same mission and vision we have to raise these kids up to be godly men and women. That godly mission involves parent partners who sponsor with children at the Manos Orphanage. So we ask couples who are Christian. Executive Director Tracy Artsnen with the parent partner team at Manos' Esther House. To sponsor one of you. Says it's a global mission reaching so far into Cambodia and Guatemala, including the Manos Orphanage near the famed volcano lined Lake Atitlan. Even Susan Ministry exists to elevate orphan care globally. We come alongside of kids who live in Christian orphanages, where many times the orphanage lacks resources. Which is apparent with multitudes of children and young adults at several houses at Manos each home with house parents who alongside with David and Deborah Reichert try to keep up with never ending demands. It's complicated for Dave and I to keep up with everyone on a consistent basis. And to have somebody like Saving Susan who has um, a parent partner that can kind of just keep track of them in a more intimate way than we can. I think that's a huge blessing and it's what the kids need. A blessing from parent partners like Cecilia and Alan, who met Celeste for the first time at Esther House after previously meeting on Zoom. It gives me a purpose to know that even though um, we have grown kids and our grandkids are, some of them are older than Celeste, but we still have something to offer. And it gives us a purpose and a hope that we can still make a difference in someone's life. For Celeste, it's a purpose which will extend beyond her to her son, Nacer. Cecilia and Alan were part of a Saving Susan team connecting with children, country, and culture. One of the things we do at Saving Susan is take people in country to meet the children that they sponsor so that they can spend time with them one-on-one, -on -one. just hang out and fellowship and disciple and just show them love. Guatemala is a country with more than a half million orphan and vulnerable children. Like many developing countries, Guatemala is not prepared or equipped to handle the overflow of orphans, which is why Saving Susan fills what could be a gaping hole in vulnerabilities. And with Saving Susan, we can have a consistent and viable and real solution for them, for their future, their future future, their unending future. And um, that's really good for them to know that they do have this relationship with someone specific that's indefinite. Whether showing the girls at Esther House the finer touches of applying makeup, a water fun filled day at Casa de Amor y Esperanza, the house of love and hope, or climbing to the top of the nearby mountain during a group hike, parent partners with Saving Susan connected with children beyond language and culture in the spirit of Christ. I don't speak Spanish, but uh culture people are people even though people come from different cultures um, that can be crossed in a hurry hay muchos niños y niñas que lo necesitan y yo creo que si sigue el mundo así pues puede algo que algún día cambie y que se desarrolle aún más y que no va a haber tanta pobreza como lo hay ahora the universal language is love there's no question about that
A universal language found at the Mano School at a very special gathering of orphaned children, their house parents, teachers, Saving Susan team members, and community members, connected in fellowship, friendship, and gratitude, where it's one child, one step at a time. 